What's going on YouTube, Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you who are using the Checkwind jailbreak release today for the iOS 13.2.2, 13.2, all the way down to the iOS 12.3. So a new beta has been released and of course it contains a lot of bug fixes and improvements. The Checkwind account posted in here, quote, several bugs have been fixed in the release 0.9.1, which you can get at checkray.in. Specifically improved iPad support, fixed a crash issue in the UI and fixed SCP for non-bootstrap devices. Now if you go ahead here on the releases on their website, you can see that there is a new macOS version available, it's the 0.9.1 beta, and as you can see there are a lot of bug fixes in here, it says in here, quote, this beta fixes multiple bugs, including an issue where the loader app would crash when installing Cydia on iPads, a crash when the macOS language was set to anything other than English, an issue where iPad minis would not work with the GUI, and an issue with the CSP binary not working as expected. This version also also improves clarity of some errors, specifically the minus 20 error, which now offers guidance on how to resolve it. So yeah, if you tried the jailbreak with the initial beta that was released today and you failed because of the uh, Cydia not installing, especially on iPads, you can download the version 0.9.1 beta which should fix that problem. The same thing with the macOS errors and of course with the SCP. The jailbreak itself doesn't support the iPad Air 2, iPad 5th generation and iPad Pro 1st generation for the moment and it has experimental support on the iPhone 5s, iPad mini 3, iPad mini 2 and the iPad Air. Now I know you're going to ask me, so no, there is currently no Windows version available and no Linux version available, they are in the works and they will come at a later release, but they're not available for now, only Mac OS. Now the Checkrain account posted about whether you can use a virtual machine like VirtualBox and so on, and they said quote, regarding virtual machines, support in virtual machines require doing a pass-through via the IOMMU, for example passing in a controller at the PCIe level or similar. Software USB pass-through solutions are very likely to not expose an accurate enough USB stack to perform the exploit. So yeah, it might be possible to do it in a virtual box, but it's not fun and it's not easy and of course you cannot just install the virtual box essentials and be done with it. It's unfortunate, but you're going to have to wait for a proper Windows or Linux version if you don't have a Mac. Keep in mind that Hackintoshes would also do, Mac OS and Hackintosh do work for running this jailbreak in here, but for the virtual box it's not going to be that easy. Easy, so unfortunately you may have to wait for a proper version to be released. Now as I said in my previous video where I show you how to use this jailbreak and how to install it, this jailbreak supports the iOS 13.2 all the way down to the 12.3, so everything in between for the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5s, so this is what it supports. So you can jailbreak right now the latest version available for these devices. As always if you need jailbreak help or if you have any problems you can go ahead here on our forum jailbreak central and request help on the jailbreak help section in here. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, update your check range jailbreak if you're already jailbroken with it, and of course, as always, peace out.